Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on moisturizers that are really great for the winter. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I just wanted to pop on here really fast and just talk about some moisturizing products that are really good for the winter. Um, some of us are already facing the winter, but where I am in the big state of Texas, not so much. But if you have dry skin and of course other skin types like normal combination and even oily you know keeping your skin healthy and moisturized is very important so I went through my collection of skincare and just picked out five products that I feel are the most effective have the most good ingredients you know yada 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 so again I have a total of five and I feel like I have something for everybody uh, I have some luxury um, all the way down to affordable and all of them are really good and why while they all fall into the category of moisturizing products, they offer their own special cocktail of ingredients that are going to yield uh, different results. So uh, let's say you're looking for moisturization as well as an even skin tone or smoother skin or um, uh, something that's going to help firm the skin or help with glow or luminosity things like that so with all that being said let's just get into the first one so this first one is by Shantakai and this is their gold recovery mask and let me just say you also get a little uh, little spoon here which is too adorable so you can use that to dip into the product so you won't contaminate it now even though this is you know a mask it's a hydrating mask you can uh, put this on use it overnight or let's say you're getting ready to um, go to an event you could uh, do a, a treatment and leave it on for 30 uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then you can take it off but it is very thick and a little goes a long way you really don't need a lot of this and what I particularly like about this particular particular product is that when you look at the ingredients, the, the active ingredients, the ingredients that they boast about the product are at the top. You see good ingredients in the middle, at the end, really everywhere. And all of their ingredients are sourced in Switzerland, which has the purest botanicals out there. It is paraben free, it's fragrance free. It's just an overall good product. I'm gonna list right here on the screen all of the other ingredients that this particular product has and everything that it can do for the skin it does a really good job of keeping your skin moisturized as well as smooth so this is just a really awesome product to have and also for those of you all who are interested in purchasing anything from Shantakai if you subscribe to their e-blast I think it is you get 30% off and um, that's between the dates of the 19th and the 22nd I'll have all of the deets listed below and also I found out that they will soon be taking after pay so that's going to allow me to get more of their products because they do have some good products another product that they have that's not skincare that I absolutely love is their foundation the um the future foundation I think that's what it's called very pretty very natural looking it doesn't settle into your fine lines it's just a really good formula so if you haven't tried that out and you're looking for a good foundation I would definitely say to check that one out I'll have it down below just in case you you're interested in that but this is a great one to have. All right, so the next one that I have is by Falling, and this is their Moisturizer Replenish and Protect. So what's cool about this one is that it is a clean skincare brand. So if that's something that's really important to you, go and check it out. This particular product is more on the affordable end. It falls in at $35. And this one is pretty much my go-to moisturizer when I want to keep my uh, my skincare routine short like very minimal because let's face it you know a lot of the products that we use um, some of them can be skipped you know but some of them can but the moisturizers definitely 
can never be skipped. So this is one that I love to use during the day. Um, now you don't need a lot of this. You only need a little and it is very fast absorbing. It doesn't have a scent. It's non toxic. It doesn't have any GMOs and it's dermatology tested. And also it has sodium hyaluronate, which is a powerhouse humectant, which is going to penetrate deep into the skin, whereby keeping your skin very hydrated and moisturized. So that's a really good ingredient, uh, you know, to having a product for the winter months or if you're suffering from really dry skin. And it also has baka chu oil in it. Um, I know I'm butchering the name, but that's pretty much an alternative to retinol. So if you've um, tried retinol and it's too irritating for your skin, you might wanna try this one as well. So just remember, this is a really good one that while it's keeping your skin moisturized, it's packed with so many antioxidants and omegas and vitamins that are gonna be really good for your skin. And I absolutely love it. All right, so the next one is by Clarence and this is the Rose Radiance Cream Super Restorative cream for all skin types and this one um, if you're really big on anti-aging products I would say that this is a really good one because it's going to target um, while it is going to do a really good job of keeping your skin moisturized it's going to target elasticity firmness density it's going to target tone and texture and it's on I wouldn't say it, it's kind of thick. The cream is pink and it does have a scent. Now, while some scents <laughs> may bother some, this one is very light and pleasant and I apply it at night and I actually look forward to it because it smells so good. Um, I took the liberty of actually looking at some of the reviews on this product and I really didn't see people complaining about the scent because you can smell it. So sometimes when something is so bad, you, you read the reviews and you know people are talking about it but this particular product has almost five stars really everywhere that I've looked for it so again I'll leave all of the ingredients on the screen so you can just kind of see you know what this product offers and I absolutely love it and if you have dry skin and you're really into anti-aging this one will be a good one to look into all right so this next one that I have is by Dr. Denise and this is the Hydro Shield hydrating dream cream with serum ceramides, retinol, and bio replacement lipid factor. So this one contains ceramides in it and the ceramides are pretty much going to mimic your skin's lipid barrier and that's pretty much going to help keep your skin from water loss and it's going to make your skin more soft and supple. Also, if you have any issues with irritation, it's going to help calm the skin. So that's something good to have during the winter months. And the retinol and peptides are going to help with other anti-aging issues like fine lines and wrinkles, elasticity, and tone and texture. So this one is a really good one. I pretty much use this one at night um, because I find that it is a little bit uh, I don't want to say heavy but it is very moisturizing so um, if you have really really dry skin I would say this one would be good to use during the day but um, if you have normal skin or oily skin or combo I would recommend this one to use at night all right and the last one is an oil and I know some people may cringe when I say an oil but oil is good to have in any skincare routine especially during the winter or if you have really dry skin this is the green goddess facial oil and it does have 100 milligrams of CBD in it and this particular product uses the whole plant it's hypoallergenic it's fragrance free it's really good for sensitive skin and moisturization I would recommend just using it at night and just apply a thin layer of it but if you do have again really dry dry skin and you live in a climate that has harsh uh, cold weather or windy weather or things like that you could add a little bit more it is a dry oil which means it's going to be fast absorbing so you don't have to worry that once you apply it that it's going to just kind of sit there on your face it is going to absorb pretty quickly uh, but this oil is really good and I have been enjoying it you know CBD oil is kind of new on the scene but CBD has all kinds of 
antioxidants that are really good for the skin, um, especially if you're using a product that you're gonna be using long term. So this is a good one for winter and I really love it. So that's pretty much it. Those are my top picks for moisturizers during the winter months. Let me know what moisturizers are you using that you love to use during the winter. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.